Does a Bulldozer Have a Butt? Written by Derek Wilder. Illustrated by K. Faye Steele. On our daily walk to school, through the park and past the swings, questions pop into my head. I bet Daddy knows these things. He is super smart and wise, answering my where's and what's. So today, I had to know which things do and don't have butts. Does a bullfrog have a butt? Yes, it's spotty and it's bumpy. And does a blobfish have a butt? Well, it looks a little grumpy. Does a scarecrow have a butt? Yep, you stuff it with a straw one. And does a crayon have a butt? Nope, but it can surely draw one. Do butterflies have butts? Look, it's right inside their name. And do flocks of sheep have butts? Bah, they all look the same. Does a Sunday have a butt? Yum, it's two scoops side by side. And does a T-Rex have a butt? Once, but sadly, they all died. Do bulldozers have butts? Look, they're powerful and square. And do Sasquatches have butts? Sure, they're kind of round and bare. Does a storm cloud have a butt? Yes, it thunders through the sky. And does a spirit have a butt? Ooh, it silently floats by. Does a pirate have a butt? Arr, it's right above his booty. And does a lemur have a butt? Or, it's really quite a cutie. Does a firefly have a butt? Yep, it makes a tiny blink. And does an ogre have a butt? Blech, it makes a dreadful stink. Do aliens have butts? Look, they have an extra cheek. And do rubber ducks have butts? Listen, squeeze them and they squeak. Does a dragon have a butt? Yikes, it's known to shoot out fire. And does a robot have a butt? Beep, it's held on by a wire. Do gummy bears have butts? Well, until somebody eats them. And do snow people have butts? Brr, unless somebody heats them. Does a spider have a butt? Yuck, you see it when it crawls off. And does a zombie have a butt? Eek, until one day it falls off. We are almost at my school. I say, hi, to my best friend. Does this story have a butt? Certainly, it's called The End.